Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is a very important video for me. This is a fundamental video in your curly hair journey. This is how to diffuse your hair video. I mean, you can always air dry, but I feel like diffusing gives you volume, gives you just great results and just saves you so much time. I, even though my hair is really short, you know, I can air dry. It's really not that much of a hassle. I just can't do it, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't. I love this. This is my baby. This is the Dyson Supersonics Professional. So this is a version for hairdressers. It is a little bit um, stronger than the home edition. And the wire is longer because it is made for a salon. I love this. I think that this is great. And I know the price tag is huge, but this is amazing, you know? It does not burn the hair. I love using this on my clients. And it was a hassle trying to get one of these here because unfortunately the distributor in the Middle East doesn't bring them. So we had to get them from the UK. It was just a hassle. It's great for my client's hair. It's great for me when I diffuse. It's great for everything. I just really, really do love the Dyson Supersonics and I recommend that you get it if you ever want to give yourself like a nice expensive gift. This is what you should get. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna diffuse my hair. When I diffuse my hair, I like to dry my roots first. All right, so I set my diffuser to medium speed, medium speed, a medium speed and heat. The Dyson does not get as hot as other diffusers. So medium is a-okay when you are hovering over your hair, all right? So I'm gonna just turn it on. I start by flipping my hair upside down and starting to diffuse from the back because it's always the area where I actually forget. So, on! What is very important during this process is to not touch your hair. After you have applied your product, do not touch your hair. All of that product, all of that moisture, all of that everything will be sucked by your hands. So, no touching. Please, please don't touch. When I see people diffusing their hair and at the same time when it's with they scrunch, I just wanna lose my mind. It's, you would get so much better results if you just leave it. Just leave it to diffuse by itself. And then touch it. Touch it all you want when it's dry. Just not when it's wet, okay? So, we're gonna go back to diffusing. Throughout my diffusing process, I like to flip my hair to different sides. That way, I don't get a part. So, this is great to do when you don't want to have a part in any way. Just keep, you know, turning your head every single side. Whip your hair back and forth. How to find out the best heat setting on your blow dryer? Like this is hot, right? But it doesn't sting. Like when I'm hovering, it does not sting my scalp. And this is the most important thing, that it doesn't hurt your scalp. It doesn't hurt your skin. When I diffuse it from far away, it's just like warm, you know? It's nice. It's not tingly. It's just cute. All right. Now that uh, my roots are dry, I can tell because, well, they're getting the cast on. So what I do is I turn the speed and heat to low. And then we scoop the hair. We put the hair in the diffuser, all right? You know, something that I do subconsciously all the time is 
every time I scoop my hair, I count to 10. I don't know why, I just do that. I'm just like, okay, so one, two, three, four, nine, 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 ten, and the other side. So that's a good way to keep yourself entertained during this process or just play with your phone, you know? It's, it's boring. All right, so there's another thing that I like to do, especially with longer hair, is that I cup the hair away from my scalp so it doesn't, you know, hurt and it doesn't bother me because sometimes it really does bother me. So I'm just gonna do it. My hair right now is 80% dry. I am going to leave it. This is what I always do. I dry my hair up to 80% and then leave the, air, the rest to air dry. I feel like that last 20% of air dry makes your hair, I don't wanna say frizz free, but you know, with a significant less amount of frizz in my opinion, you know. So I'm just gonna let this chill for a little bit. For like 15 minutes most of the time, that's all I need really. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it be. It is creating a cast over it and that is a great thing. That means my hair is gonna last for days, hopefully. So that's it, this is how I diffuse my hair. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.